Hello YouTube, I'm Mini Bike Mike, and welcome to my brand new channel. Uh, I've got lots of projects and things I work on, and I've had a few friends tell me now that I need to document it and start a YouTube channel and put it out there for everyone to see. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, the majority of my projects are going to be scooters, mini bikes, go karts, stuff like that. Pretty much what you see behind me here. Um, but that's not going to be all. I also have a desktop CNC machine, a laser etcher. 3D printers and anodizing line. So whenever I'm doing any projects with that stuff, I'll document it and show you guys that also. Uh, so yeah, if you like the channel, go ahead and like and subscribe. And I'll start off by showing you the projects I currently have. So here's the first project. This one I'm currently working on. It's some kind of trike thing that somebody Put together I picked it up for 100 bucks it's pretty much a four-wheeler frame front half welded to a Chinese scooter rear end uh, it's got the GY6 150 cc motor on it so what I've done to this guy so far is when I got it it didn't have hardly anything for a wiring harness luckily I had a Chinese scooter that I tore apart for parts that a friend gave me a couple weeks ago so I took the wiring harness on it and put it on here and you can see it's kind of just laid in there right now and not pretty there's the gauge cluster and the headlights and everything but I did get it running as you can see here I will go ahead and start it up for you So she's running, but it's not pretty. Next off, I'm going to change out this swing arm. And i got to change the tire and the wheel because it's flat and doesn't hold any air. And the exhaust mounts, they cut off and for some reason. So I have the exhaust off that Chinese scooter, a tour part, which we put on there. That's my next steps. So and then put the cooling covers on the engine and start cleaning up some of the wiring and then I gotta really work on the frame. This thing's pretty hideous. So I'm gonna pick up a welder and try to clean it up and grind stuff down and make it look a little bit better than that. So that's where I am at with this guy. Next project I got is this go-kart I picked up. It is a Candy uh, KD 150FS. It's got the 150cc GY6 motor in it. When I picked it up, the people said that they thought it was an electrical issue, they couldn't get it to run. I started digging into it, and actually the timing chain skipped a gear and made a valve impact the piston. So I tore into it and I replaced the piston out of a spare GY6 I got here, but it didn't help. So I just said, screw it, buying a whole new motor, which hopefully will ship this week, and... Then get that thing in there and this thing could be up and running. Should be a lot of fun. I'm going to make it street legal so I can cruise it around town here. Um, luckily the wiring is already there for blinkers, headlights, all that stuff. I just need to buy the components and then some of the wiring has been cut up and stuff like that. So i got to fix some of it. But overall it's mostly all there. This project here is a 1969 Volkswagen dune buggy. I know this one's the one my wife is most excited about. This is kind of her project, or it's going to be our project, but it'll be her vehicle. Traded my, I had a Honda CT70 little trail bike that I traded straight across for this thing. I just picked this up a couple weeks ago, but this one's kind of on the back burner. Uh, probably won't be done this year, probably work on it this winter. But it runs. Uh, the guy I bought it, or got it from, was able to pour a little gas on the carburetor because the gas tank's not hooked up and it did fire up and run for a few seconds um, he also gave me two spare motors to go with it so hopefully i should have everything to get this one running and it should be a lot of fun all right this project here is a 1974 honda xl 100. i picked this up a couple of years ago from the original owner and rebuilt the motor repainted it 
and it's pretty much done the only thing I gotta tune the carburetor a little bit get it running a little nicer but other than that it's done I just gotta slap the side covers on and then I'm gonna sell this one to try to help fund the other projects all right now this one here is my pride and joy it's my 2005 Honda Ruckus I picked it up this winter and it was pretty much bone stock and I have now swapped a GY6 motor onto it so it went from a 49cc up to a 150 um, changed up the wheels lowered it and just tried to make it look nice as I thought um, a lot of the anodizing I did myself so like the anodizing on the gas cap you can actually see one little mess up there but it is what it is my engine mount and the shock mount I anodized myself turned out pretty good I just added some red underglow lights to it a couple weeks ago I'd show you but it's too bright right now got disc brakes up front eventually I'd like to add those to the rear even picked up the some wheels from machined machines and had them black powder coated and I even modeled up and 3d printed my own little hubcap for this rear wheel so. all right this vehicle here is a 2015 Nissan Juke it's my wife's car uh, probably won't be too much covered on this channel with this car, but if I do happen to do any projects to it, then I will document them and upload them also. This guy here is a 2008 Audi Q7. Uh, not as much of a fun project, but picked it up wrecked like this. You can see here in the front, it's wrecked. <laughs> but the, the bumper and everything is in the back trunk area actually so I can try to see if I can possibly reuse it if not then I'll have to try to find another one but this one I'm just gonna replace the core support the headlight try to straighten out the hood if I can use the bumper if I can if not like I said have to get new parts there and then sell this one and hopefully use it to help fund our vacation we got coming up this summer All right, this guy here, this is my daily driver. This is a 2006 Nissan Titan. Uh, it's another one that I did pick up wrecked and I've last year put quite a bit of time into it. Had to replace the core support, the bumper, the grill, pretty much the whole front end. Um, still need to get a new hood for it. And then as you can see, it's missing the storage box there, which I did just pick up. Um, I just need to get it painted before I can put it on there. It's, couldn't get one in the same color, so. Do that. I gotta replace the the bed caps or whatever you want to call the plastic pieces that go on the top, and then I'm gonna add some LED lighting to inside the bed that will work with the cargo lighting. So any projects I do to this guy will be documented also. All right. So those are the vehicles I got right now. Uh, everything I'm gonna be working on in the near future. Um, I will try to document and share with you guys everything I'm doing uh, so you can follow along. Uh, if you end up liking my channel, go ahead and like and subscribe it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks. Bye.